All right, I want to talk about some differences between the stock intake manifold and doing a runner foot flap delete kit versus buying an aftermarket one like the uh, HPA or any of the other companies. Um, so there's some big differences. So the first thing is obviously the runner flaps. So a lot of people, they do the uh, runner flap delete kits. So these flaps right here, they'll basically remove this rod and um, put these little bushings in this little area and basically they'll create that extra space. So, I mean, it's only like $129, $130. That's good. It will give you some gains because I mean, you have about the same amount of increase up here on the uh, HPA or uh, Pegasus Motorsport. I mean, this in here, there's a little more, more space, but it's a little more smoother, but it's pretty close. I'd say this is about, I think they rate it like 12% increase and then the runner flap does like 10%, which I mean, hey, that's not too bad, but there's still some other big differences between these two. So the second thing that's the biggest thing is obviously you have the, uh, water methanate injection sections, but the plenum. So this plenum right here, it's this piece right here, the size difference, look at this. I just put them side by side. Ridiculous, I mean, yeah, this one's closer, but I mean, even if I push it away, look at that. That plenum is something else. And I mean, that's really where you're getting your gains from. So you have all this extra buildup of this cold charged air, and you know, you get to press it out and you press it out through these, um, these runners to your actual intakes. So that's where you're getting your power gains. I mean, even look at the size in here. Uh, it's a little dark, it's pretty shallow, and I'm sure it does create pressure and whatnot, and that's why you have to get this tuned, by the way, so the way you can create that extra pressure. But I mean, that's huge, man. That's a lot of space, a lot of space. So, so yeah. And then lastly, uh, if you're not getting a catch can or you don't understand, um, I just want to show you something. I don't know if you see all this. This is all gunk. So basically your PVC valve, whenever it builds up pressure, um, it'll basically put it out to the turbine side or to the intake side. And sometimes with that, you get a little bit of blow by of a little bit of oil. And all that is just building up right here. So if you were to put a catch can system, you're actually, you know, kind of preventing some of this blow by because that's, that's a lot. So just think about that.